Thank you, Mr. Moderator. David Lang, Park Avenue, 66 Park Avenue in Hampton. Um, I learned a long time ago the most powerful guy on the floor of town meeting is the moderator, and so I appreciate your authority, Mr. Moderator. Um, I, I rise this morning, Mr. Moderator, to offer an amendment to Article 12. I would move that the bottom line of the operating budget be increased to $27,151,600, and if I get a second, I would speak on that motion. Is there a second to Mr. Lang's amendment? I see a second over there. If somebody could uh, say their name, I can't, uh, or you can. James Squires, 13 James Squires. Uh, the motion has been seconded. Mr. Lang, would you like to speak to your amendment? Yes, Mr. Moderator. First of all, I want to thank the Budget Committee, which is the fiscal committee of this legislative body. Um, their due diligence and hard work was admirable. Um, they uh, spent a tremendous amount of hours and time in, in asking questions and trying to put together what I want to refer to you today as the recipe for Hampton. And it's the financial recipe for Hampton. You know, if you're at home and you're going to bake a cake and you choose a bad recipe, you're going to add up with a bad cake. Well, I want to suggest to you that I think nine of the members that voted, because it was a nine to five vote on the bottom line of the budget, I happen to have a philosophical disagreement with them on. Um, they're good people and they did the best that they can and they made decisions that they felt were in the best interest of this town and I applaud them for that. Um, I too, as a member of this town, have lived here my entire life, almost, um, have um, spent quite a bit of time seeing the town of Hampton, the good parts of the town and the bad parts of the town. I'm going to tell you that this operating budget is what makes Hampton work. This is when we have 30 inches of snow, we have the money in which to plow it. We have the money in which to respond to you when you're hunkered down in your home. This is when a hurricane hits, we have the money in which to do that, to take care of you, to protect you. This is for your fire, your EMS, your police, to make sure that the paramedics who respond to your grandmother or your grandfather have the ability to do that. This is Hampton. Some of the other stuff, some of the other Warren articles are kind of like, do we have time to do this? Should we do this? Would we like to do this? This is what makes us work. This is when you flush your toilet. It goes away when you put those green and blue barrels on your sidewalk and you get up in the morning and they're empty. That's what happens. Now imagine for one minute what Hampton will look like if we do not continue to feed it and we do not continue to help it and we do not continue to make sure that we have the necessary resources. This represents a 2.5% increase over last the default budget. Now, we've had some philosophical disagreements, myself and the Budget Committee. One of those is this. I believe the New Hampshire legislature, when it created this form of government for this community, set up an ability for the department heads, the governing body, the Board of Selectmen, to put forward their best proposal for an operating budget. And in the event that the taxpayers, those of you that are paying the bills, decide, the voters, decide that you don't want that operating budget, well, you can't shut your town down. So the legislature built in something known as the default budget. This is not and should not be viewed as a way in which we can ping pong back and forth. You know, our state motto is this, live free or die. Financially, we should not have to make a choice to either live free or financially die. I'm asking you to support this moderate increase. It includes those items that the department heads have asked for in order to make Hampton work. You know, one of our members of our Board of Selectmen has adopted the motto, Hampton is my home. This budget is reflective to our home in Hampton, and I'm asking you to support the running and maintenance of your home. Mr. Lang, I want to make sure I've got your number correctly. 27,151,600. 27, 